in the very beginning, one of the things that you talk about is kind of the two sides uh, of ADHD and that understanding ADHD is an important part. And that's a step that I missed for a little while, a while. So can you dig into that a little bit? What are some really big aha moments that people have when they are, are beginning to understand ADHD that would be really helpful for people? Well, you, you, you want to know what it is. And, and, and the condition is defined in terms of basically three tendencies. Uh, and each one has a flip side. And that's what the medical model doesn't include. But let me explain it to you. So the, if you look in the diagnostic manual, you'll see ADHD defined in terms of three system symptom clusters, one around the symptom of inattention or distractibility, and the other around the symptoms of, of impulsivity and hyperactivity. Okay, so and if you have a certain number of those, then you by definition, you have ADHD. But take each one of those and turn it on its head and you get a positive. The flip side of, of distractibility is curiosity. And we are the curious people. When I was a kid, I was called the question box. I just couldn't stop asking questions. It annoyed people. I asked so many questions, but that's who we are. We, we, what's that? What's that? What's over there? What's underneath there? You know, it was curiosity that led the, to the discovery of penicillin. The guy came back and saw the mold look different on the Petri dish. And he said, hey, what about that? Well, if he just ignored it, we wouldn't have penicillin. So, you know, curiosity is what drives great inventions, discoveries, creations of all kind. And we are endlessly curious. We're driven by curiosity. Then the second one, impulsivity. Think about it for a minute. What is creativity? But impulsivity gone right. You don't plan to have a new idea. You don't say, oh, it's time for my Nobel Prize winning idea. No, these, these ideas pop. They come spontaneously, impulsively. If you're not somewhat disinhibited, you won't be creative. And that's why you find most creative people are a little loosey-goosey. You know, most creative people are, are quite spontaneous. And, and sometimes that can be annoying, get them into trouble. But at other times, you win the Nobel Prize. So... So impulsivity, you know, has its positive side, namely creativity, which is huge. And you can't buy and you can't teach uh, curiosity and creativity, you know. And then the third one, hyperactivity, you get to be my age, I'm 72, it's called energy. And I'm, you know, I'm really glad to have this little turbo pack on my back, you know, it keep, keep, keeps me going. And, and uh, uh, so, so what I want people to understand is that this is, this is a rich and complex condition but the more you learn about it, the less you'll fear it, and the more you'll welcome it into your life and be able to make use of it and minimize the damage the downside does. Mm -hmm.